Hello people, this is self Turks and in this video we are going to learn about an important algorithm of string that is how to print all the characters of a string. So we'll be using Java as our programming language but you are uh, free to use any other programming language to achieve the same output. So I'm using Eclipse as my editor to develop my Java program. So you can use any editor of your choice to run that program to run a Java program but the output will be same and the code will be same. So I have already created a Java project here with names self turds and you can do that by using J file new and then this Java project. So inside this you can find a source folder and there you need to create a new class file. So I'll create this class file and I'll name it as self turds and I'll hit enter. So this will give me a new brand new class which is saying that the package is self turds and the name of the class is self turds with an identifier of public. So inside Java to run any program you need a main method because when we'll run this program then JVM will try to find the main method and that main method is the entry point inside any Java application. So we'll create a main method here that is public static void and then main. So it will be string and arc. So this is the signature of a main method. So I'm not trying to explain. I'll not explain you that why this particular signature is there for main method but this is the signature that Java uses. So the thing that we want to achieve here is that we will create a string, we'll create a string and then what we'll do, we'll print all the characters of that string. So the thing is simple what we want to achieve. So the first thing is that we'll create a string. So to create a string, we'll use the data type string and the name of the variable as str and then we'll say that our string is self turds. So you can see here we have saved this file. So what this particular line number A does, so it, it creates a variable str and puts the value self turds inside that particular string variable. So if we go to the representation of this particular string in Java memory, then you can uh, match that particular string to something like this that an array like structure is created in the memory and individual characters are placed inside these blocks. So the first blocks at index 0 will contain s character then the block second that is at index 1 will have e as the character same way for 2 it will be l and then 3 it will be f because we are using the character self turds so it is represented like this so this is an important imagination that you need to do before doing coding uh, challenges or or coding question so you need to imagine that how string is stored in java memory so it will be very useful or then it will be very easy for you to write your programs so Keeping in mind that this particular string that is self turds is represented in the memory like this. So there is index 0 to n minus 1 now or the length of string minus 1. So what is this length of string? So if you count the number of characters here that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this particular string that is self turds is having a length of 8. So if you want to find the length of the string then we will we need to call a method on this particular string. So the length of string is what integer. So we'll, uh, we'll store the value of this particular length inside a variable that is length of string equal to str dot and then you will get the method on it as length. So what this will do line number 10 will do this will call the length method on string that is self turds and it will store the output inside an integer variable that is length of string. So what we'll do will Try, uh, we'll try to uh, output this particular or we'll try to print this particular uh, variable that is length of string. So we'll try to save it and then we'll try to run it. So for running the program we'll use this particular button and you can see here the output is 8 because the length of the string is 8. Now we need to print all the characters of the string which means that we need to traverse the string and print character one by one. So if this is the character we, then we need to go to the first character then second then third then fourth and while we are traversing the string we have to print the individual character. So how to do that? So the first thing that you need 
that you need to keep in mind that whenever there is a word called traversing then you need to use some loop so you can use while loop you can use for loop so any loop if you have studied in any programming language you can use it so here we will be using the for loop so the for printing the character we'll use a for loop so what we'll do we'll write the signature of a for loop so it will be what int i equal to zero why zero because we are initializing this particular i variable with zero now this loop will uh, traverse how much time means how many times this loop will run so it needs to run how many times which will be equal to the number of characters so the number because we want to print once one character at once means at one time we want to print one character so the loop should run for eight times because the size of this particular string is eight as we have seen here we have printed it as eight so if for i equal to zero then what we need to write i less than what length of l length of string and then i plus plus for for every successful uh, running of this for loop will increase the value of i by one now what we'll do we'll try to store the value of individual character inside a variable so the variable will be of type what care because the individual uh, uh, things inside this particular string are characters so the data type of the variable will be what character so we'll say current character is equal to what now this is important thing we need to access the string by index so we need to write care at so for accessing the uh, individual character of a string at particular index we need to type the or we need to use the care at function so what it does when the loop runs for the first time that when the value of i equal to zero then what it, what happens it accesses the character string dot character at zero so what this character dot zero is it is s now when the second time loop will run because the value of i has been incremented by one so now it will become one here and since one is less than the length of string because the length of string is eight so we so we'll come inside this for loop and inside this we'll see that string dot character of one which will be what e same way the next time the value of i will be two and for two it is l for three it is f and then four it is t so now what we'll do we'll try to print the character so we'll say system dot out dot print ln and then what we'll say current character variable we need to print so we are printing this current character so there are three r here which is not good okay so now there are two r and the name of the variable is matching here so what this loop will do this will run for eight times because the length of the string is eight and because we, and also because we are putting a condition that i should be less than the length of string that is i should be less than eight so it will run for zero one two three four five six seven so if you count that number of time it will be eight so every time the loop will run it will try to access the character at position i and since the value of i is changing every time so it will be zero one two three and one by one it will put the value of string at character i inside this particular variable that is current character which which has a data type of char and then what we are trying to do we are trying to print the current character in separate lines so we are using print ln because we want to print the characters on individual lines so i'll save it and then i'll try to run this so i'll hide this particular system dot out or i'll comment this system dot out dot print of length of string so i'll now run this and then you can see that what i'm getting s yes, i'll do it up sometime and then see you are seeing here s a l f t u t s so we are getting the individual characters of the string and the individual characters are what s e l f t u t s same is the thing that we are getting now suppose we want to print in one line only print the characters in one line only so we'll use only print and then again if we run it then you will see it is printed on a single line because you are using print which doesn't changes to the next line for every loop that for loop is running so i'll again explain it that this is a string and we want to print the individual characters of the string so what we need to do we need to traverse the string for every character so because there are eight characters which means that we need to run the for loop for eight times and each time we'll access the 
individual characters of the string by using the method dot caret of the string. So string has a method caret to access the uh, element or to access the character at index i. So we are putting the value inside this particular variable that is current character and then we are printing it. So this is a very basic algorithm that how to print all the characters of a string. So hope you like this video, hope you like my channel. If you like my channel then please subscribe to it and I'll post more algorithms and data structure problem. Please share these videos with other people. Thank you.